This is why Roger. I never have any uh, Roger. Why uh, no Mikey's place. in jail. No. Yeah. What? No. no. Here. It's the bail bondsman. Bail? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Stevens? Yes. I regret to inform you, sir, that your grandson was arrested for a DUI. No, that can't be. It's true, sir. The district attorney's office asked us to call you so we can arrange for bail. That is, unless you want to leave him in jail. No, we can't. Yeah. Now, how do I know this is for real? Sir, I'm calling you from the bail bond company. I have the number for the district attorney's office if you'd like to verify. Yes, I would if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, what is it? 310-475-6968. Okay, so it's ringing. District attorney's office. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just trying to verify something. No problem, sir. See? He was telling the truth. <sighs> well, it looks like you were being honest. I told you, sir. Uh, now, if you would like to get your grandson out of jail, you will need to send $9,800 to us through Bitcoin right away. Did, did, what? I, I, I don't know what that is. Can you send an electronic wire transfer through your computer, sir? What? Do you know what that is? No. We, we don't know what that is either. Why can't I just pay in cash? Let me talk to my supervisor, sir. Yes, he can come pick it up, but we will need it within the next one hour. What? Why so soon? It's the law, sir. Well, uh, uh, all right. Uh, let me tell you where to meet me. Are you Mrs. Stevens? Yeah, yes I am. Uh, are you uh... Supervisor of the bail bond company? Oh. Did you uh, bring the cash? Oh, yeah, yes, well, right here. Wait, isn't there supposed to be some uh, paperwork or something? I'm just the driver. The company will contact you with the rest of the paperwork you need once that's been paid. But I, I thought you just said you were the supervisor. Yes, the uh, driver's supervisor. Uh, now, if you can just hand me the cash, I have to go. Um, are you sure my grandson is in jail? Yes. Why else would they send me? Well, shouldn't there be a uniform or a, a business card or, or something? Only senior supervisors get those. Well, uh, I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, well, here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, well, wait, just a minute. Uh, do you even know how old my grandson is? I'm not sure why. He's only nine months old. Okay, so? So, why would a baby possibly be in jail? If he's a baby, then why did your wife even hand you the phone? Let's just say when she's off her medication, she has a few screws loose. But what's really interesting is that you knew about that, uh, considering you're a driver. I'm sorry, I have to go. Uh, well, uh, wait. Uh, what's up? You might want to look inside that envelope. Um, open it. Uh, police badge. Mm. Here's where I can see him. You're under arrest. Mm. I'll take that. Mm. If you ever decide to scam someone again, Make sure it's not a cop. Take him away. Let's go. Well, did you bail Mikey out? Yes, sweetheart. He's right here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, say hello to Grandma. Oh, we were 
we're so worried about you. Oh, such a dear. <laughs> now, did you take your pills this morning, honey? No, I don't think I did. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> So there's a new narcotic on the street, and it's tearing our city apart. And whoever the kingpin is on this is doing a really good job hiding under the radar because this is the only sample we've been able to get. Now, there have been multiple overdoses on these in the past few days alone. So if we don't get this criminal, things are going to get bad. Lots of people may die. <clears throat> Something you want to say, Cole? I'm sorry, Chief, but why are we supposed to feel bad again? These people are just a bunch of druggies. They're not taking red pills, they'll be taking blue pills. It's always gonna be something. They're still human beings. All right, if you don't care about the victims, let me add that the person who helps capture this criminal will be the first cop in line for a promotion, which also comes with a big pay increase. That's all you had to say, Chief. I'll be the one bringing in the bad guy, even with no partner. Oh, thanks for saying that because that brings me to my latest update. We finally found someone for you. Everyone, please welcome our newest recruit, Officer Bryant. Uh, Chief, you know I like to work alone. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's not allowed. But the good news is, Bryant graduated top of his class, so I'm sure he's gonna be able to help you bring in the kingpin. Now everybody get to work. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, man. Sorry. I just wanted to say, you know, it's an honor to meet you, and, and I heard a lot of great things about you. We're going to be great partners. Excuse me, uh, Chief. You got a word? Yeah, what's up? Am I in trouble or something? No. Why are you asking me that? Then why else would you stick me with a, a rookie? Because you're the only one without a partner. Besides, everyone knows you're the best cop we have. Look at all the arrests you've made. And I know you'll show Bryant the ropes. What if? Listen, just take down the kingpin. Then when you're sergeant, you can work alone without anyone to bother you or ask you any questions. How's that sound? Great. Like music to my ears. OK, then let's not waste any more time. Be safe out there. Thank you, sir. Actually, Chief, would you mind if I took a look? Yeah, I was just gonna take him to evidence. Really? You know, I'm actually walking in that direction. I can drop these off for you. Are you sure? Absolutely. And while I'm at it, I can show Brian here how we do things. That's a great idea. See, you're already warming up to him. Let's go, rookie. And hurry up. Long day ahead of us. Drink some coffee. Thanks. So we have to drive to the evidence room? Yeah, we're not going there. So why'd you take the pills? You ever um, go fishing, Bryant? Once or twice. Why? Well, if you're gonna catch a fish, you're gonna need some bait. But in training, they taught us that we're not supposed to- This isn't training, Bryant! You may have been top of your class and all that with all, all the newbies. But out here, in the real world, I run these streets. So you stop asking me so many questions. And just do what I say. You got it? Yes, sir. Attention all units, be advised, suspicious activity downtown on the southwest corner of 7th and Lexington. Be on the lookout for a tall Caucasian male wearing a red t-shirt and jeans. Well, what do you know? Looks like we may have found ourselves a kingpin. Unit 218 on our way. Hang on to your skirt, kid. What are we doing here? 
This isn't Seventh and Lexington. Did I tell you to stop asking me questions? Hey, come here. I ain't done nothing wrong. Well, I'm sure you haven't. Hands on the fence, now! So what do you got on you, huh? Drugs, guns? No, I'm just out here trying to get some food, man. Yeah, we'll see about that. Wait, 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 wait. You, you can't search him, you have no probable cause. Sure we do. You heard what dispatch said. Suspicious man on the loose. This guy doesn't match the description at all. You don't think I know what I'm doing? Do me a favor. Go around the corner and take a look around, okay? See if this guy has an accomplice. Usually guys like this, they travel in pairs. Now, please! Okay. I told you I ain't got nothing. Really? Well, then, uh, how do you explain? This. Those aren't mine. Yeah, and the sky isn't blue either, huh? Put your hands behind your back. Ow! You're hurting me! You're a kingpin. Admit it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop resisting! Hell! Stop resist! I'm not! You can't do this to me! I ain't done nothing wrong! Come I'm just trying to get a sandwich, man! You stay quiet, or I'm gonna arrest you for resisting too. <laughs> There's no one else. Hey, you gotta let me out of here. Open this door. You arrested him? Yeah. Had a whole bag of red pills on him. Told you he was a criminal. I just can't believe that. Did you read him his rights? Yeah, I read him his rights. By the way, anything this guy says is a lie, so you don't believe anything he says, right? Don't ever question my judgment again. Okay, I'm sorry. You okay? Uh, I'm all right, I'm just, I'm feeling a little tired. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Come on. Yeah. Relax. Hey. You did good, man. What are you doing? Just getting some evidence together. Don't tell me you're taking the evidence and making it seem like they're his. Weren't you just asleep? On the job. And you have the nerve to question me. Go back to bed, rookie. I'm busy. Cole, this is wrong. If you planted pills on him, you have to let him go right now. You kidding me? I just nabbed the kingpin. You can't do this. I'm gonna tell the chief. You're gonna keep your mouth shut. Or I'm gonna tell everyone that you were sleeping like a baby. First day on the job? Now you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So get back in the car and wait. Why are you doing this? A promotion? I'm sorry, I can't let that happen. And what are you gonna do about it, huh? Bryant, you gonna rat me out? Go ahead, do it. My last partner tried that. Didn't work out too well for him. What did you do? Cole, I need to talk to you. Yes, sir. You don't want me to show the chief this picture, do you? Get back in the car, last chance. Fine, but I'm just letting you know, whatever happens in the dark always comes to light. Yeah, my ex-partner said that too. Caught another bad one, I see. Not just any bad guy, chief. I got the kingpin. Look at what he had on him. Cole, do you really think the kingpin would just have a few little baggies on him? Come on, this guy's some low-level dealer. The real guy will have duffel bags full of drugs. And I'm sure he does. I'm gonna go ahead and interrogate him. That won't be necessary. With your track record, I want you out on the streets as much as possible, busting more bad guys. Go book him. 
Oh, let me get those. Thank you. What do you got there, Chief? New body cameras. Yeah, apparently. That man's a crook. He planted that evidence on me. Keep him quiet. Get him out of here. I swear I haven't done nothing wrong. Let's go. Criminals. It's like they're incapable of telling the truth. Anyways, Chief, what were you saying? Yeah, so uh, starting tomorrow, everyone's got to wear these. The department seems to think there's a dirty cop on the force. <laughs> you can't be serious. That's what I say. From what I hear, Roberts is the one spreading these rumors. Supposedly, he knows who the kingpin is. Roberts? My former partner? Why would anybody listen to him? He got fired for tampering with evidence. I don't know. None of this is making any sense. So, uh, who do you think it is? I wish I knew. Roberts won't tell any of us, and apparently he's going straight to the feds. The feds? He is? Yep. They're meeting with him this weekend. You know how bad it'll make us look if a fired cop solves this case before any of us can? Chief, we can't let this happen. I know. So hopefully you'll be able to take the kingpin down before Roberts can. Good luck. Thanks, Chief. I need a favor. So, did he fall for it? Doesn't he always? Thinks he's meeting with the feds downtown, so you got a couple hours. You are the best, Shelly. Do you need more? No, that should be plenty. Here, this should solve your other problem. You sure this is gonna work? Because last time... I doubled the dose this time. Even if he only drinks half, he'll be out for hours. That's perfect. Did I mention you're the best? By the way... I know. I know. I don't want you to worry about anything. I'm gonna make me a little bit more money, then I'm gonna get you that lawyer you need. I've been saying that for a while. Hey, listen to me. I'm not gonna let my little honeybee get stuck with any of those charges. We'll see. Trust me. See ya. What are we doing here? Let's just say if you want to catch a bigger fish, you're gonna need more bait. Here, drink some more coffee so you don't fall asleep again. No, I'm right. I said drink it. I need you alert. Seriously. Let's go catch ourselves a kingpin. Just found out where he is. The, king, the kingpin lives here? Yep. Chief, I got a hot tip, and you won't believe where it took me. Don't move. Put your hands 
up. Put your hands up! Slowly. Slowly. Home so soon? From your meeting with the feds? I should have known you were behind that. You know, with your criminal record, you're not allowed to carry a firearm. We both know I wouldn't have a record if it wasn't for you lying on me. Now I'm gonna show everyone who you really are. Keep them up! All right. But if I were you, I'd, I'd be ready for this. You do it, don't do it, huh? <laughs> you really think I didn't see that coming? Now get down on your knees. Freeze! Listen to you. Thank goodness you're here. Listen to you. Drop the gun, Roberts. Slowly. Is Brian okay? He'll be fine. Chief, I can explain. It's cold. Not another word. You should have seen it coming, given your track record, Roberts. Get him in the car. It's cold. It was always cold. You got the wrong guy, Chief. You got the wrong guy! You're not gonna believe this. Roberts is the kingpin. And he would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you, Chief. To think he was gonna try to convince the feds it was someone else. Unbelievable. What's the deal with Brian? I hate to say it, but he's in on it. I caught him meeting with Roberts. That's what led me here. The rookie? I'm afraid so. Maybe this is the dirty cop the department is looking for. And he's also on some kind of substance. That's why he's like this. I think a drug test is gonna tell you everything you need to know. Okay. You found the drugs. We've also got weapons. Bryant clearly had a motive. He needed the cash. He knew all about our inner workings to evade law enforcement. And let's not forget his criminal record. Well done, Cole. Let's just say your promotion is pretty much in the bag. Officer Cole, how about you come with us? Gentlemen, Whoa. there's no need for all that. This case is solved. Look, why isn't he in handcuffs? That man is the one behind all this. Cole was the one who framed Roberts, just like he was the last time, too. Officer Cole is the kingpin. What? No, that's not possible. Cole is my best cop. We've been investigating for a while now. Fortunately, we got a big break when he arrested our undercover. You're a federal agent? I don't understand. What did Cole do wrong? He planted that evidence on me. You did what? Maybe I lied. A little, but it was for a good cause. That, that doesn't make me a kingpin! No, there's more. We also have an informant. Who? Roberts? Can't trust him. <laughs> it's not Roberts. Then who? Me. What are you doing here? You never wondered how I was able to get out of jail when you refused to pay my attorney fees? I told you I was going to pay those. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sure. I never even would have been arrested if it wasn't for you. I'm tired of being your fall guy. You sit back and reap all the rewards. So, I cut a little deal with the feds. Shelly, please, don't do this. She's already told us everything we needed. <laughs> Including how you set Roberts up. What? You are despicable, Cole. Chief, please. Why don't you go away for a long time? Just hear me out. Get him out of here. <laughs> Obviously a misunderstanding, okay? You uncuffed me and you hear me out! You should have known, Cole. What happens in the dark? Oh, he's comes to light. <laughs> okay, I've got some big news. Not only is someone back, but they also got promoted. Everyone please welcome Sergeant Roberts. Fire all cops! Hey, hey, 
sign this petition so we can finally get rid of the police. Get rid of the police? What are you going to do when you need help? They're not going to help you. They're all bad. Listen, I, I understand, okay? And trust me, I've had my own bad experiences with police, but... You can't judge all cops because of some bad ones. <laughs> Whatever. Fire all cops! 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 But you! You are exactly what is wrong with this country. All you cops are bad. No, oh, actually, ma'am, that's not true. You see, I... I don't want to hear it. You just get out of here. Okay. You have a nice day, ma'am. Uh, all you cops need to be fired. Fire all cops. Fire all cops. Fire all cops. Fire all... Fire... Hey! Hey! Give me your purse! Off me! Hey! Help! Hey, please, somebody help! Ma'am, ma'am, what happened? Oh, oh, that guy stole my purse! I'm on it! Stop! Stop! You're under arrest. Ma'am, here's your purse back. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry for what I said earlier. No, ma'am, don't worry about it. Believe me, I understand. But all I ask you is that before you judge me, you get to know me. You see, I'm not just a cop. I'm also a family man. Each morning, I say goodbye to my wife and my little girl, not knowing if I'll ever see them again. My job isn't easy. Every day, I put my life on the line, ready to take a bullet for a complete stranger. But in the end, it's all worth it, because I believe in God and in helping others. I know there are some bad cops out there, but please know, I'm just as upset about the injustices that exist. I try my best every day to fight against them. But no matter how much I try to do the right thing, people still hate me. They judge me without ever knowing me simply for wearing a badge. So you see, before you judge me, just get to know me. Wow. I had no idea you had to go through that every day. I'm really sorry. And you're right. I shouldn't judge all cops based on a few bad ones. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day. Come on. Take you in. See, Your Honor, it's without question that this defendant did these crimes. No, that's impossible. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in LA at a Dodgers game. He's lying. You can tell by looking at him. Order. Defendant, do you have any proof of your alibi? Uh, uh no, we don't have any proof, Your Honor. Okay, well, if there's no evidence to corroborate Robert's story, the court finds the defendant, Robert Williams, guilty on all six counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Wait, what, what? No, no, what? no, no, please, please, not my baby boy. He didn't do it. I know he did it. Your Honor, please, you have to believe me. I'm innocent. I put that on my life. You know I didn't do this. You know it! Order! <laughs> Mr. Williams, that's enough. Not another word. We'll reconvene tomorrow for sentencing. Daddy! No, please! Don't go! Everything's gonna be okay, sweetie, I promise. 
Daddy loves you so much. Hey, boss. What if he's telling the truth? What if we got the wrong guy? Well, you don't think I know what I'm doing? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just wondering if maybe we shouldn't take another look at the facts. I just want a case. <laughs> Who cares whether he did it or not? All that's important is I'm one step closer to a promotion. And besides, people like him, they're all the same. Just a bunch of criminals. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in LA at a Dodgers game. Yeah, well, I can see my headlines now. D.A. Graham gives low-life criminal life in prison. Keep up the great work. He's innocent. He's innocent. Can you give us a minute? Yeah. What are you talking about? He wasn't in Philly when it happened. His story checks out. Look, I have his credit card statements right here. He was making purchases in Los Angeles while the crime was happening. Okay. So? Well, so if he was in Los Angeles when the crime was happening in Philadelphia, then it couldn't have been him. We have to get these to the defense right away. Have you lost your mind? I mean, uh, maybe somebody stole his card. Maybe he gave it to him. I can think of a thousand reasons. But, sir... That's enough. The case is over. You hear me? Now what I would suggest that you do... Walk the line so you can get ahead. I have proof. What is it now? I contacted a local convenience store and I found a photo of him. He bought a hot dog just before the game. It's not possible. Take a look. He couldn't have committed a crime in Philly if he was buying a hot dog in LA. Doesn't even look like him. It's him, I had facial recognition confirm it. Has anyone else seen this? No, why? Good, let's keep it that way. I don't want you humiliating us or risking this case because you got some pictures that don't even look like that guy. But, sir... Quiet! You want to lose your job? I don't want to hear one more word about this case. I gotta believe this. I have video evidence. What are you talking about? Well, a reporter was giving an interview outside of the game. Okay, so? So guess who walks by? There. That's Robert. He just walked through the background of the video. I, I can't believe this. this. This proves his innocence. We have to tell the judge. All arise. Have a seat. We have to tell the judge. We don't have to tell a soul. Is everything okay, Mr. Graham? Anything you want to share? No, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Williams, these charges against you are not minor crimes. Federal statute requires a 25-year mandatory minimum sentence. No, please, Your Honor, I'm telling you, I, I didn't do it. You've already been found guilty. So unless the people have anything else. This court hereby sentences a defendant, Robert Williams, to 25 years in a federal prison without no, no. the possibility oh, of God, parole. No. Oh, no.
wait. Excuse me? Wait, I, I'm sorry, Your, 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 your Honor. He, he didn't do it. May I approach the bench? You may. Your Honor, there is no way that Mr. Williams committed those crimes. <laughs> you see, I have here a credit card statement showing purchases made by the defendant with his credit card in Los Angeles on the same day that the crime took place in Philadelphia. And I also have a photo of the defendant in a convenience store here in Los Angeles buying a hot dog just mere moments before the crime took place. And I have a video as well, Your Honor, that shows the defendant at Dodger Stadium at the exact time and date that the crime was taking place in Philadelphia, over 2,000 miles away. So you see, Your Honor, Robert Williams could not have committed those crimes. He was telling the truth all along. Is, uh, is all this true, Mr. Grant? Uh, well, uh, Why didn't you say anything? Because he was more interested in his promotion than he was in saving an innocent man from jail. I presented him with all of this evidence, Your Honor, and yet he ignored it. Well, what'd you expect? Huh? Okay, so maybe he didn't do this crime. But I'm sure he's done dozens of others. Look at him, he's clearly a criminal. Your Honor, order. I've heard all I've needed to hear. Mr. Williams, the charges against you have been dropped. You're free to go. <laughs> Bailiff, uncuff him immediately. <laughs> Thank you. And you, Mr. Graham. Oh, please. Obstructing justice and tampering with evidence is a very serious crime. Your Honor. I'm going to see to it that not only do you never practice law again, but that we send the right man to jail this time. You. Bailiff, arrest him. No. No, oh, this can't be happening. This case is dismissed. Let me go. Go. I love you so much. I love you too, sweetheart. I told you everything was gonna be okay. <laughs> Sirs. Oh. Why did you help us? Well, because a wise woman once told me it's never too late to do the right thing. Give me a couple weeks, and I bet I can... what? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> What's up, princess? Oh, did you get lost looking for the little girl's room? That's <laughs> <laughs> <Good. laughs> And we wonder why people think some cups are pigs. Ooh. Oh, careful, boys. I think she may be PMSing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Last day of training. Let's get out there and make it count today. Come on, let's get it. I know you're used to wearing heels. Try your best to keep up. Okay, princess. All right. Good work, Roy. Let's see. Doyle, you're next. Let's have you spar with Allie. Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. You want me to spar against a woman? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Look, female cops belong behind a desk. Or better yet, in a kitchen. <laughs> Not on the streets fighting bad guys. Come on. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Ooh, be careful. Don't break a nail or something. <clears throat> Had enough, princess? <clears throat> All right, that's enough. Good work, Doyle. Give a hand. Hey! <laughs> Just face it, women belong in the kitchen. 
You should be making us all coffee instead. <laughs> See how the way I took her down yesterday? <laughs> like that? Yeah, she can't, she can't keep up with us. That's the yeah. thing. Oh, wow. This is a surprise. After that beating I gave you earlier, I thought you were going to quit. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't. Because you might be begging for my help one day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, I almost forgot. Give me another cup of coffee. Shoot, while you're at it, Get us all another cup of coffee, since that's all you're good for. Thanks. OK, troops. That's it. It's official. Training's over. It's the real world out there now. So take this seriously. Eli, you're with Roy. Awesome. George, you and Sean. Hey, Sarge, can I partner with Billy? Trevor? Yeah, no, you're with Allie. Oh, what? You must be joking. Are you trying to get me killed? Seriously, I'd rather work alone. You don't have that choice, do you? Now get out of here. Come on, princess. Your only job is to make sure my cup stays full. Understand? You're right. Keep dreaming. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Everyone knows women can't drive. Get in the passenger seat. Hurry up. <laughs> Y'all probably just drop her off at the nail salon and meet up with you boys. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think a first call's going to be? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully nothing too dangerous, since I've got you as my backup. Can you stop it with the constant female jobs already? It's getting old. 211 in progress on 11th and Grand. Any units available? That's right around the corner. Let's go! Hold on to your skirt. This is Officer Doyle. We're on the way. What are you doing? What do you mean? Trying to stop the robber? You think we're going in there to play with dolls? It isn't safe for you. Stay in the car. Oh. Stay there. Get off me. Police, don't move. Why'd you do that? I had the situation under control. It looked to me like you needed help. Just go back and wait in the car. This is a man's job. Hey. to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. I want to speak to my attorney. Come on, let's go. Why'd you do that? I said I had it under control. Yeah, right. Hey, let me out of here. Get comfortable because you're staying in here for a long time. <laughs> Good thing we got him. Wait till the Sarge finds out. He's probably gonna promote me. <laughs> promote you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you guys bagged Ronnie the Robber. And on your first day, too. We've been after this guy for months. Yeah, well, that's what you get when you put the right man on the job. Oh, did you catch him? That's not what- Yeah. What? Did you really think a woman had anything to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky he had her as backup. I had him pinned to the ground, and he couldn't even keep up with me. If it wasn't for her, I would have gotten away. Quiet! Before I charge you with disorderly conduct. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> you know how these criminals are. Bunch of liars. Yeah. We saw the whole thing through your police body cams. Excellent work, Allie. Really impressive. Thanks, Sarge. You know, we're promoting somebody to sergeant. You think you'd be interested? The only drawback is uh, you'd have to get a new partner. 
I would love that. What? You're gonna promote her? What about me? Look, you need a real man for that job. Actually, I do have a new job for you too. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is it? Go get me a fresh cup of coffee. While you're at it, get Allie one too. You better get used to it, she's your new boss. Come on, Allie, let me show you your new office. Oh, and um, I like my coffee with two creams and two sugars. Thanks, princess. I take mine black. I just broke 5,000 followers. That's awesome. Still a long way from a million. Hey, gotcha, man. <gasps> Sorry. What's wrong with him? I think he has struts. He's pretty popular. He has over a million. Well, I just figured out how to gain a bunch of new followers. 